so welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do this quick little video um, showing this. So I already have all of my skincare on and I do have some concealer on. I have both of these Lancome concealers and that is it because I wanted just like a bare face just so we could try this out. So this is the Maybelline Super Stay, uh, their hybrid powder foundation. I'm pretty late to the game but I actually got this a while ago, I just never tried it. So we're gonna try it. I'm trying to decide how I want to apply it. I think it comes, I did open it, but I promise I haven't used it. So this is the shade, which, it looks lighter in the monitor, but in real life, it looks like the perfect, like, brown color for my skin color right now. Obviously, in the summertime, this probably won't work. Hopefully, when I edit, it doesn't, translate this light because it's not super light um this is the shade 332 so yeah you get this little compact here it does come with a mirror and this little sponge and i think i might try it with the sponge so i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dig right in i don't really know how much to use i don't really know Scoot up a little bit. I don't really know like what's too much. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to just do that. Okay, well, it blended out pretty nicely. I had a huge breakout on my nose, just on my nose. I have no idea why, but yeah, it was crazy. So I kind of wanted to see if this covered up anything. I feel like it's not covering up a ton because I can still see where um, the breakout was. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. This color is actually like really good. This is so foreign to me. It's so weird because I have dry skin, so I never, I think I own one powder foundation like this that's actually like coverage, not like a translucent powder that's meant to set a liquid foundation, but like an actual powder foundation. I think I own one, and honestly, I think I bought it on accident. I think I was trying to buy a translucent powder. It was like years ago. But yeah, I just don't ever use these because I have dry skin. If anything, it's powder that I skip sometimes. But I was watching all of the videos where people were using this and it just looked so pretty on them. So I kind of gave into the hype and was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. That and, I mean, Maybelline's prices aren't like, crazy expensive. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and try it. But I'm so like, I don't know how much to use. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. I mean, it probably depends on your skin, you know, what type of coverage you want. For me, because I do kind of tend to lean towards more of like a light to natural coverage, this is probably fine for me. I guess this is kind of where I would stop. That and I do have dry skin. I am gonna finish my makeup. I'm gonna set it with a setting spray and then I'll come back and show you like everything, but I think this is pretty good. So again, this is shade 332. And so far, so good. I feel like I should have done half my face with this and then half with the brush. But obviously, you could do with a brush, a fluffy brush or a dense brush if you want, like, more coverage. This is actually kind of convenient. So, okay, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I finished the look. Now... After I completed all of my makeup, I did go in with two layers of my uh, makeup setting spray. And then, which is normal, I usually go in with a good amount of that. And then for, I would say the next like hour, cause it's been a while, I've actually had this on for hours now. Within the first like hour, my face was still looking pretty matte. I was like, oh wow. Now I will say, to be fair, normally when I am using powder based makeup, products like if I'm wearing like heavy powder and today I wore all powder I wore 
this as a foundation and then everything after was powder. So normally when I wear that much powder, it will take a good like hour or so after I do my spray for any type of natural oils to pull through just because my skin is more dry. So that's not completely abnormal. Um, but anyway, so, so that happened. I was looking and I was like, okay, it's, it's going to take maybe like a little bit longer. And then I decided to go ahead and sh uh, straighten my hair. While I was flat ironing my hair, normally I will have a fan on just to help keep me cool, but I was being lazy today. And so I was like, I'm just gonna do my hair really fast. And while I was straightening my hair, my face was like, it was getting, you know, like hot just cause the flat iron is hot. So I was kind of getting a little bit more flushed. And then that's when I really started no noticing that the oils were really starting to peek through, which I was fine with that because I feel like this looks so much better. I like to have a little bit of glow. So yeah, this is, to be fair, after I flat ironed my hair and probably it's been on my face, the makeup has been on my face for at least two to three hours. Um, so yeah, I feel like you can definitely, if you have dry skin like me, you can definitely get away with this. Um, you just need to make sure you have a hydrating base and then just give yourself time to let the makeup really sit and definitely use um, a makeup setting spray. And then obviously if you have oily skin, I think you're gonna be fine. I think you will love this. So yeah, like I said, I will list, um, I'll link this below because I can't remember the price, but I feel like it was a good price. Maybelline is usually priced pretty well. But yeah, I really like the way this turned out, you guys. I'm glad that I tried it, I can see the hype, and I definitely will use it again. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.